Create, Build, and Manage Daily is brought to you by CenterPost Media. Let us help tell your story. Go to CenterPostMedia.com for details. Jimmy Page wants to inspire you to live the unstoppable life, unleashing your best in every way. Page is an entrepreneur, health and wellness expert, author, public speaker, and president of Be Unstoppable. And he's joining me tonight via Zoom. Jimmy, welcome to the show. Good to see you, Scott. Great to be here with you. Absolutely. We appreciate your time. How do you help others create winning cultures? Well, I think the most important thing is we focus on the individuals, right? The leaders uh, before the team. So, you know, every single organization is made up of, of people and they're imperfect. But one of the things we love to do is inspire them to be their absolute best, give them the tools necessary to operate in those environments at their highest level, and then create the culture that everyone wants to be involved in. You know, so I think part of what really works is when you're developing a culture, that environment where people work, people start to find their unique area of contribution. They feel like they're making that meaningful contribution and they're really making a difference. And in the end, they're working together towards accomplishing a greater goal than even their individual interests. Makes sense. We all want to belong somewhere and feel like we're, we want to know what our part is within that organization. You also argue that life is more than success, that it needs a mission and a meaning. Explain that. Yes. Well, I think, you know, we're, we're created with purpose. And I think a lot of times we forget that. We think we're human doers rather than human, human beings. And so when we're, as a human being, we're made with great purpose. We've got certain gifts and talents and we can make contributions to the overall that um, give us a sense of satisfaction. You know, there's a difference between fulfillment and success. Success, you might win big, but you might not enjoy it along the way. But when you achieve fulfillment, that satisfaction, that rich, satisfying, meaningful life, you're generally, you're generally doing something you love to do and you're doing something for the greater good. And that's where we really find purpose in serving the needs of others. Man, I'll tell you what, Jimmy, a lot of people, a lot of business leaders watch the show and I know that's resonating with them because we all kind of go on that journey, right? Where we're looking for our passion, looking for a place, you know, that, that sort of gets us out of bed and wants us to, to work every day. What is the connection though with the way we think and the actions we take? Everything starts with a thought, right? Our thoughts inform our feelings. You know, everything that I think about is going to bring a certain feeling to it. And then that feeling is gonna create an action. I'm gonna act on that feeling. So everything starts with our mindset. Do I have a positive mindset? Do I have a positive expectation about the way things are gonna to go today? Or do I wake up kind of with a sense of dread? And our mindset, our thinking actually determines the direction of our life. You know, we talk a lot about how what we focus on, we feel and focus by narrowing that focus to something positive, something productive, uh, it actually helps you to fulfill your purpose. It leads to progress. It's so easy to get caught in a negativity doom loop. And if you can snap out of it, if you can flip that switch mentally and change those negative thoughts, change that, that critical spirit into something that's a can-do spirit, it really does change your energy, it changes your focus, and it changes your actions so that you can have the kind of day and, and the, the kind of success and significance that you're looking for. What are some practical ways we can do that? Because if, if, again, if we're all honest, Jimmy, we, we, we're all prone to get in that negative cycle. Maybe it's you know seasonal, it's winter, we're depressed, or maybe other things going on. So what do you recommend when you meet with somebody? Like, here's some things you can do to help you get out of that negative cycle and think more positively. Yeah, I think you have to first start by taking control of, of different aspects of your life from your mind, your body, and your spirit. You know, the physical component of life has such a dramatic effect on the way we think, the energy that we have, and our emotional life. And so many people, we neglect the physical aspect. We don't get up and we don't move. We don't start the day with a little bit of movement or exercise. And what I've learned is if you can control that morning, if you can win the morning, you have a greater chance of winning the day. And by winning the morning, I mean, 
uh, you start up focusing on things that are productive, things that you're thankful for. You might even uh, write down a list of things you're thankful for. And the second thing I do is I write down a list of people that I want to bless, people that I want to encourage. So I'm immediately setting my mindset towards others. And then I will literally get up and move. I will do a 30 minute workout in the morning to increase my oxygen level, to break a sweat and to invest in my physical health, knowing that it's gonna change my emotions, it's gonna change my mindset and it's gonna change the direction for the day. I tell you the thing that I love the most about the things you mentioned, because I've heard the thankful list and the exercise, but writing down a list of people you're going to bless that day, that is that is awesome. I love that thought. I want to put your website up for those who are watching Biz TV tonight. It is be unstoppable dot live. Be unstoppable dot live. It's where you can learn more about Jimmy Page, see his books and where he's going to be speaking next. And I also understand you've got an online course or online courses that are launching in January. Tell us about that. Yeah, this is one of the things that we're most excited about because it takes the core principles that we have about mindset, about changing your direction, uh, about having a positive vision for your future, about overcoming negativity, and it puts it into bite-sized modules so that when someone signs up and goes through this course, it's almost going to be like you have a personal trainer guiding you through a life change process to overcome those obstacles and challenges, to change your, your mindset, to change your focus, and to develop the habits that you need to be successful and to live a significant life. So that course is going to take you through that process. We're heading into the new year, so we got about 60 seconds left. Any practical advice to give our viewers tonight to get them ready for January 1? Okay, my favorite thing to promote for January 1 is our book called One Word That Will Change Your Life. It's this idea of throwing out New Year's resolutions and narrowing your focus to one single word for the year. Um, understanding that focus drives progress and life change, and it actually has dramatic positive effect on all aspects of your life. So, for example, one year my word was unstoppable, surprising but it changed my mindset. It helped me overcome obstacles mentally and physically. It helped me make different decisions relationally so that the relationships that I had could be as productive and fulfilling as possible. So narrow that theme to just one single word for the year and read the book, One Word That Will Change Your Life. I love that. I love that. One word. I can remember one word, Jimmy. That's great. Good advice. It's Jimmy Page, again, the president of Unstoppable. If you want to find out more about the book or the online course, check out BeUnstoppable.live. This is Create, Build, and Manage Daily.